Well, good morning, good morning. I, uh, I'm making this video this morning, specifically for a friend, but it is applicable to just about everybody. We have a friend who, <clears throat> their daughter last week uh, had, a had a seizure and has been in the hospital in and out, um, well, in, out, and then back in uh, since last Wednesday or Thursday, I think it is. And uh, the mother and the family have been really struggling through this. And this morning she sent a text message saying, I don't see God's hands in this, or God's hand in this. And the first thing that came to my mind, because I wanted to respond and be the encourager that I am, and I wanted to come and say like, even when you don't see him working, he's working, and he's working for you. And it's still true. When you don't see him working, it doesn't mean that he's not. In fact, that's oftentimes when he's doing his best work. The second thing that came to mind was, we don't know why, and we may never know why, she's on this journey, the mother, the daughter, and the family. But before I responded, I just felt like I really needed to pray about it, and to think about it, and the more I thought about it, the more I prayed about it as I'm driving along here this morning was, I thought of Abraham and Isaac. I thought about the torture, the mental torture Abraham had when he was taking Isaac to the mountain. He had a few days to think about how he had to sacrifice his only son. And I, we don't know really why God tested Abraham like that. Of course, I drive by the loudest truck on I-95 when I'm making the video. Anyways, my point is, oftentimes when we're going through struggles and trials, we don't understand why in the moment we're going through those. So for the mom, it's extraordinarily difficult to watch our children go through anything. And I, I just think of God, actually, when he had to watch Jesus go on the cross. It would be very difficult and I would never put one of my kids on the cross for anybody that I know. It just wouldn't happen. And if I, my kids were on the cross, I would move heaven and hell to get them off. In this case, obviously God conquered hell. But Jesus had to go through it to beat it. So to my friends and family that are dealing with this, even though you don't see God's hand right now, even though we're praying like crazy for her and healing and relief, you got to go through it. Regardless of what the circumstances are, even what the results are, you got to go through it if you want to look back and see God's hands. Now, that's not very comforting, I understand. In fact, you're probably tempted to turn the video off, but don't do it. Because here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. One of the things that we have in our faith is the ability to look behind us and look for God's hand in places where he has done awesome things. Okay? I would encourage you to do that because here's what's really happening. In spite of what you're going through, you're being isolated. And by making a statement such as, I don't see God's hand in it, um, is a testament to your faith being challenged. You would not be the first, and you would not be the last parent in the history of man to have your faith tested when your child is hurting. Because any good parent that I know would give themselves up in a second so their child wouldn't have to go through something. But I really feel that you need to understand you're being tested. And what you do know is you can't have a testimony without first being tested. I'd like to encourage you this morning to know that 
when the victory is God's and you're through this and you look back at it, just like when you had COVID, and now you know who I'm talking about, you're going to be able to see, now I see God's hand in it. And this is what he did. This is what he did. We don't know who's going to be saved because of this. We don't know the testimony, how it's going to be used. We don't know. We don't know. But God's going to use it for his good. So buckle up. And just be ready. I really hope that you see what I'm trying to convey in this message this morning. Just know that we love you. We're praying for you and with you. And we are encouraged by how God's going to take care of this. It may not be the way you want it to be. But trust me when I tell you, He is working. He's working all things for your good, okay? Have a good morning.